This episode is brought to you by the Deeper Christian Life Network. The Deeper Christian Life Network is an online network designed for mentoring and connection among those who want to deepen their spiritual walk. The network includes exclusive masterclasses that you can take at your own pace and much more. The masterclasses are conference messages based on themes and or letters in the New Testament that cannot be accessed anywhere else. The network opens up for registration periodically throughout the year. Go to thedeeperchristianlife.com and check out samples and join the waitlist if you're interested. Hi, Fun Seekers. Frankie V with you once again. A very good Tuesday to you. A very good Tuesday indeed. And today we are going to talk about advice, giving advice, offering advice. Now, what I'm about to say is, in fact, believe it or not, a relationship destroyer in some contexts and in some and in some circumstances, especially when it comes to friendships. And that relationship destroyer is, in fact, offering unsolicited advice. Now, I'm talking about to fellow adults. I'm not speaking about underage children or your crumb snatchers or your employees or those who have paid you for coaching or counseling or mentoring. That's completely different. I'm talking about unsolicited advice to a friend or an acquaintance. And it could even be someone very close to you. Now, ever since I've been a believer, I've met people who regularly offered unsolicited advice to other people. And they'd often couch it in terms of, quote, God told me to tell you the following, end of quote, or God put this on my heart, or worst of all, this is for your encouragement. Yeah, right. Sometimes it would manifest itself when a prayer request was made. Example, Melvin writes an email to his friend saying, I'm requesting prayer for my Aunt Nina's hangnail. Please keep her in your prayers. Pray for me too because I'm losing sleep over it. Well, one of Melvin's friends, Joe, a man who is highly confident in his own opinions and his ability to, quote, hear God, end of quote, responds saying, Hey Mel, I've been praying for your Aunt Nina and for you. And here's what I would encourage you both to do. Pause. Excuse me, Joe, but Melvin never asked for your advice. He simply asked for your prayers. The advice was unsolicited. And in the vast majority of cases I've seen where unsolicited advice was given, the advice was off target, sometimes by a country mile. It was built on inaccurate assumptions. So you'd be wise to only give people advice when they ask for it. In other words, when it is solicited. But Frank, what if God gives me a piece of wisdom to help someone? Well, if you think the Lord has genuinely shown you something about another person or their situation, use that knowledge to pray more intelligently and more specifically. And if the Lord really wants you to give them advice, I suggest you do one of two things. One, ask him to put on that person's heart the desire to reach out to you and ask for your input. And if that happens, you are very clear (laughs) that the Lord has opened a door for you without them even knowing about it. Or two, simply ask the person, can I share a piece of advice with you? Ask them permission. And if they say, sure, share it, then that becomes solicited advice. So, freely give your advice. They've given you permission. But attach no expectations to their response. If they decline, if they say, no, I prefer not to hear it, or if you share the advice with them and they don't take it, do not take it personal. Don't judge their motivations. Don't begin to regard them in a low way. If you do, you're engaging in another relationship sabotager called outcome dependence, which I will talk about in the future and I've written about it on my blog. Here's my point. If you give people unsolicited advice, do not be surprised if some of your friends pull back from you. Pressure is a relationship killer and unsolicited advice often puts pressure on people. Undo pressure whether you intend it or not. And by the way, since you're subscribed to this podcast, you're giving me permission to give you advice. 
In closing, let me leave you with three facts about advice that I've discovered over the years. These are not unique to me, by the way. One, the people who need advice the most are the ones who are the most apt to reject it. Two, whenever you do give advice, be prepared to take responsibility because some people may actually take it. <clears throat> and three, in the words of one person, advice is like snow. The softer it falls, the deeper it goes. And as I put it elsewhere, always connect before you correct. But that's a conversation for another time. Be good. Hey guys, this is a postscript just before you head out and we part ways. I have created a bundle of free resources. This would include my other podcasts, the YouTube channel, several free ebooks, free seminars, and other free resources. And you can find all of that at frankviola.com. And if you go to frankviola.com, you will see in the top menu a link that says free stuff. You just click on that and you will be taken to the free resources page. Also, a number of you have asked if you could donate to help defray the costs of the podcasts and also to express appreciation for the value that you've been receiving. You're under no obligation to donate. I don't ask for donations, but should you have it on your heart to do so, you can go to frankviola.us. That's frankviola.us. And that will take you to a donate page. There's three different options you can use to donate, all of them simple. Thank you very much, and God bless.